Hello and welcome back, this is episode 11. Recently we filmed a music video for Fosway that you might have seen before. If you haven't, it's in the description box below, just click on the link. We recently did a spotlight video for them as well, which is what we're going to show you tonight. If you like it, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to comment on it, just tell me what you think, we'd love to hear from you. Share it to your friends if you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed already, then hit that sub button. Thanks very much for all your support. I'm John, I play bass. I'm Haz, I play drums. I'm Cameron and I play guitar. And I'm Daniel and I play guitar and lead vocals and we are Fosway. We'd probably go for indie alternate, that kind of thing. Because it's just like more suited to our sound and like the broader influences and that and then when we just write tunes, it kind of falls in that category, that kind of thing. Last year, about around March last year, I was uh, planning a charity event for a trip to Ethiopia, so we decided, uh, as we all went to the same school, we'd uh, have a rehearsal, try out a few covers, a bit of Hendrix, a bit of Floyd, and uh, it sounded pretty good, so we decided to keep it going. Uh, we've been going a long time, but we've been more kind of like official now. Like, just the past six months, we've really like established a name, a sound, and that kind of thing, so we definitely, we've improved so much the last past uh, six months. Personally, uh, probably me three top bands are like Rush, Megadeth, and The Jam. And like broad spectrum of rock and British music and stuff. So. I would say Ardent Monkeys, Stone Roses, and Royal Blood. Probably at the minute, probably like Muse, Radiohead, that kind of stuff. I'd also definitely say Radiohead, and even a bit of Pink Floyd maybe. Don't be scared of performing in front of people, really. As long as, as, it just comes out of it. Uh, as long as you can get the gear, I think. <laughs> it's probably harder to do than being in front of people, I think. Yeah, like, we didn't know each other as friends, really, yeah. before we got together. So even if you don't know who it is you, you, you're playing with, just go for it. And we're, like, busy mates. Aye. Uh, uh, I suppose with <laughs> bands, though, it's just, like, getting your name out there as much as possible, like, grind, uh, grafting, getting all the gigs and stuff. Um, I don't know, just promoting yourselves as a band really. And enjoying it as well, yeah, more than yeah, anything really. Live every day. I don't know, you just get this like top up buzz when you play live and the crowd like screaming and stuff. And I don't yeah, know, man, man. Uh, there's, there's, there's no better than playing live. Especially when people are singing along in that, the uh, songs, man. Yeah, yeah, you get proud of buzz. Yeah. But then again, on certain songs, it's also good to hear them from a studio perspective uh, yeah, as well. Slow one, you slow can hear it, yeah. Definitely. Much more fun. Facebook, we've got Boss Way, which is F O W S E W A Y. Uh, we've got a Instagram, we've got Twitter, Twitter as well. uh, yeah. um, SoundCloud, YouTube, um, YouTube, I, 
I suppose going spot by suit as well, just quite cool. We've had gigs in local bars and stuff where the crowd's just been dead. I mean, we don't necessarily play bad, but there's just no energy going about and it's a grand It's, it's difficult to, to say things yeah. to the audience as well when no one's even listening. <laughs> yeah. so. But we've had more lively gigs where the crowd are like engaging, singing along, jumping up and down and stuff. In your face as well. And, yeah. and like, you, you reflect that through your playing much better. So. But regardless of, of what the audience is like, you just keep playing. Yeah, and the and gigs are good. The gigs are good, yeah, that's what we always say. Yeah. Just to look out for future music, I guess. Um, we've just released a, a six track EP, which we'll keep promoting and stuff like that. Um, we're starting to tap into the music side of things in town with the O2, which is tomorrow night, but a couple of weeks when we watch this. <laughs> um, so I, I mean, just look out for future music, future gigs, and we hopefully one day we can you know, get, get bigger and better. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check out our new EP as well, Ultrasound EP. Yeah. You'll be able to find links to, to the SoundCloud on Facebook and Twitter. It's on YouTube too. Yeah, on YouTube, YouTube yeah. Spotify. I had loads of, loads of kind of good feedback after the EP, Aye. off uh, like review pages and stuff, yeah. and uh, off, off fans as well, like so, some, someone from like Manchester and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, if someone inboxes our uh, Facebook page, we usually reply within like five, ten minutes just to kind of show like the um, appreciation for the support. You know?